I'm gonna lose 90 pounds in 2009. And man, it was an incredible year, but it was a year full of pressure too, because I like had said this thing and it needs to happen by the end of the year or else you fail, you know? And we got to the end of the year and I get on the scale and I had lost 84 pounds, man. I mean, that is like losing a middle schooler off of your body, man. That is an accomplishment. But I couldn't see any of it because all I saw is you missed it by six pounds. Not good enough. Failure. Status quo of your life, big fella. Weight is something that Mike has struggled with his whole life. I w always tell him, I wish you could see yourself through my eyes because the way I see him is very differently than the way he sees himself. So it's called Big Daddy Weave. And there's this funny and there's this fun element to that. But it's also this other thing, or at least in the past it has, has been this other thing. Early on as a kid, I, I learned that if you make the joke that you're scared everybody else is going to make, that sort of gives you the power in the situation in a way. So as long as we can both remember our family has struggled with weight issues. And everybody always asks you when you're the fat guy, like, do you like hate your mama and that's what you got mom issues? No, man, I just love hot dogs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like straight up. Where's your lunch, dude? Dad was making it on the bus. Eggs and sausage. Dude, eggs and sausage, that's keto. Keto friendly. And that's actually what I'm needing like right now. But... For the first time ever, the whole tour has decided to do a diet, if you will, together. And we're all doing the keto diet. To say that we, as the Weaver Brothers, have been through every diet uh, that, that is around is probably a safe bet. How are you, do how are you doing with it, dude? Are you staying <laughs> I'm, make I'm making it, I'm, I'm alive and I'm here. And we've done well so far, the whole family's trying to do it with me. When they first started saying it, I didn't know if I was in or not, dude, <laughs> you know? I can remember literally as early as like in elementary school, you know, being on diets, It you know, it, it would just, could gain weight so easily. And uh, I feel like I was eating the same stuff that other people were eating. And, it, but still, I'm the chunky kid, you know? Well, the only thing, honestly, the only thing that made me do it was the five band guys doing it together. Together, yeah. And it's just, it's even more of that unity thing um, for everybody, you know what I mean? So it's like, we're the ones that really need it, but they're, <laughs> they're really supporting us in that. Yeah, and I, I appreciate them, dude. That's good, dude. Me too. This is a constant battle. Uh, there's been great victory through seasons, you know, where you see weight loss. And then there's been times you just see it come right back to you. It's hard on the road to do this um, because everywhere somebody's got a pie that they is their grandma's favorite pie or whatever, you know, and we're trying to hang in there and do this. Dude. There you go. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. That's thank what you. I'm talking about. Eggs and sausage and bacon. You get bacon and eggs, and I get, I don't understand how, I need to, I need to talk to my wife then, right? That's, That's like, what living right's for. <laughs> <laughs> dude, well, I'm in it if you're in it, dude. Yeah, yeah. man, I'm in. Let's Come go. on. Keto away. Yes, sir. I am ready for the battle of Mike's health and his weight to be one that we're talking about victoriously, that it's a victorious announcement. So I started working with Big Daddy Weave about five years ago. I do um, massages during the day, and then I take care of catering and uh, make sure everything is out for people to follow their ketogenic habits. Slowly but surely, everybody's starting to feel a lot better, and we're about to see some weight really come off, and I'm just blessed to be a part of it. I love these guys. I've known them all for 20 years. So, buddy. Guru. Hey, man. Dude, the keto guru. How's it going? Man, dude, we're trying to keep it keto, man. Give us the prognosis here. I don't know, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> I did, that's very well done. Very it's hap well it's done. happening. j Dog like, pulled some kung fu over here and like breakfast came out of nowhere. Dude, where did that come so from? So it's sort of like manna from heaven. You just you're you're right. You got you just didn't <laughs> take quite long enough this morning to drink. <laughs> exactly, dude. It was delivered <laughs> by that Emily. Was, that was my wife, yeah. Nice. Are you guys cooking that up on the bus? Yeah. Dude, that's, that's awesome. Great. She is, not me. It wouldn't look this good if... If I cooked it. You went to the doctor, right? How is how is your levels? What's going on with that? They're still they're still high, but she said just give it time. Okay. 
Someone you know, steady wins the race. And that's the thing, bro. That's what we're appreciating about you, man, is that you're helping us, like, get in this and live in this. You know what I mean? I, I I'm actually selfish ambition. This is how I eat. So if I can get you guys to do it, then, then it's, it's easier <laughs> for me. <so. laughs> That's awesome. One thing I love about Drew is he's tenacious. Keeping on us, you know, and it's out of love. It's not out of your big fat thing. What's wrong with you? You know what I mean? It's like, hey, you can do this. You got this. And he's, I mean, dude, he's working his tail off to make sure we got shakes, make sure we got all the things we need to have to be successful. What's in the shake, man? What's in the magic shake every night? There's macadamia and pecan nut butter that we're making with that blender, um, peanut butter, um, protein powder, um, cacao, raw cacao, um, hemp hearts, chia seeds, pink Himalayan sea salt, and MCT oil. So. Nice, man. Well, that has helped me tremendously in the show, man. It's like I really feel like after the last couple of weeks, like I, like I start to really crave what that shake is, man. Praise the Lord. Super proud of you guys for sticking with it. And yeah, man. We're gonna, Thanks, we're gonna get it. We're gonna we are gonna it. get it, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Guru Drew. Yeah, bro. Guru Drew. <laughs> so, how do you think it's going with the keto diet? It just seems like I got so far to go again, you know. Back in 2008, a friend of mine had made this weight loss goal that he was gonna lose 80 pounds in 2008. And I was like, dude, well, it's 2009 now, and, and I'm gonna one-up you, you know? So I'm gonna lose 90 pounds in 2009. And man, it was an incredible year, but it was a year full of pressure too, because I like had said this thing, and it needs to happen by the end of the year, or else you fail, you know? And we got to the end of the year, and I get on the scale, and I had lost 84 pounds, man. I mean, that is like losing a middle schooler off of your body, man. That is an accomplishment. But I couldn't see any of it because all I saw is you missed it by six pounds. Not good enough, failure. Status quo of your life, big fella, you know? He was working so, so hard. And when he didn't make that, that was, that was hard just seeing him it was just painful. It was painful to watch the person that you love the most not reach this goal when they had done this incredible thing. All he saw was the failure. Food is like medicine, man, to me, and it always, it always has been, you know? It's been like my drug. And then starting the keto and getting through like the first couple weeks of it, and man, nothing moved. And I guess I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what, but I know I gotta do something, man, you know? As we begin this new keto diet, I. I just hope and pray that it's something that will really work for Mike, that it will be something that we can all do together to make our whole family um, healthier. I've always told you I love you exactly the way you are. I know. I fell in love with who you are, and you know my heart. I, that It's never about that. I just want you to be healthy, and yeah. I want that spark of confidence to come back, and yeah. that you excited to go outside and play with the kids to come back yeah. and not just yeah. be hurting. And so I just want it for you. Even as Candace says to me, look, I, I want you to be healthy for you, not because I'm over here thinking you need to be something more for me. It like the trick that I play on myself is I turn that thing and I'm like, yeah, but I have to be more, I need to be more for you. I don't feel like enough for you so often, you know? But I think you often don't feel confident in yourself. Right. And that shifts when there's better choices being made and the devastation yeah. that you felt after in the 90 and 09 thing and you didn't quite yeah. meet your, your goal. That was gut-wrenching to watch. Everybody was saying all these like nice things and they're like, dude, man, that's really good. And But I felt like I was sensing this disappointment even from them and it wasn't really there. They were just checking on me. But oh man, I just, oh, I just crumbled. I think uh, a lot of times if Mike starts something, if he's really been giving it his all and it doesn't seem to work, there's a um, greater sadness and disappointment with that that makes him want to just throw the towel in and be like, it's not even worth it. Let's just order pizza and call it a day. We have had such an awesome life, but I feel like this keeps being this thing that's always somehow in the way, you know what I mean? And it's in the way of me, you know what I mean? It's not in the way of you, because man, I you 
always, you always love me. Even when I don't love me, you know? And that's, that changes me, you know? Yeah. Here we go again. Mm -hmm. I'm in it with you, though. I know you are. I know you are. You're my biggest cheerleader. I don't know what I'd do without you. Gotcha, my love. So, like, you know how we talked about, like, on the last run, how we thought it'd be easier to eat keto at home? And, like, I we think after... that wasn't exactly the truth. So. Yeah. So, it's been a little easier on the road, but, like, we don't have a scale here on the road. Like, maybe that's a good thing for both of us, <laughs> since, like... The... I didn't lose any weight since yesterday. What's like, the matter with me? No, like, because, like, weigh-in day when we got home was, like, it was, like, devastating. And yeah, because it wasn't the progress we wanted to see. Okay. Yeah. And that's the hardest thing for me, is when you are devastated about something, if I feel like I have to be um, the ultimate fixer, and I don't know how to fix that. So obviously, as a dude, when you hear your wife say things like, I want to be a fixer for you, it's never uh, the way you want things to be, you know? But praise God, he is the God of a million and one chances, you know? And so all I can say is today, I'm gonna put my best fake foot forward. <laughs> Before you lost your feet, um, the concern of you having a heart attack, like, you know, you're going off on that mama where I told you, you can't die because I don't know all the bank stuff. <laughs> so. Um. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I'm, no, but I'm serious. Like, you, you hold us together, and so you, you've got to take care of yourself so that we're all together and we can do this life. I am so thankful that on this tour run that it's the whole tour, all doing it together, so it's not just me being a mother hen um, to Jay and the kids of don't eat this, don't drink that. Um, I'm glad for the the partnership and all of it. I appreciate the fact that you guys are willing to to go try to do this with me. You know, because it, sure you might not be overweight, or the girls may not be, you know, these fat creatures like their dad. You know what I mean? But at the same time, health is still health. You know, and what we want for them as parents is overall health. So anyway, I think I'm excited about the journey as a family. I, yeah. You know, just being able to go and do things because nobody's, dad's not tired and worn out, you know what mm -hmm. I mean, because of this. And, you know, it, it just, I think in the long run, we're going to see the benefits far outweigh the sacrifice. And you've done amazing. Like, I'm really proud of you. And I know that, like, all the crew are all proud of how you've been sticking with it. Yeah, I just let him finish what he started. <laughs> <laughs>